Most Holy Father, today a significant milestone in our pilgrimage of trust on earth is taking place. We have come from all over Europe and from other continents too, from various church affiliations. What unites us is stronger than what divides us. One baptism and the same word of God unite us. We have come here this evening to celebrate this unity around you. A unity which is real, even if it is not yet fully realized. It is when we turn together towards Christ that it grows deeper. Brother Roger left us a legacy to our community. His desire to communicate the gospel to young people in particular. He was deeply aware that the divisions between Christians are a barrier to handing on the faith. He opened paths of reconciliation that we have not yet finished exploring. Inspired by his testimony, there are very many people who want to anticipate reconciliation by their lives, to live already as people who are reconciled. Reconciled Christians can become witnesses to peace and communion, bearers of a new solidarity among human beings. Seeking a personal relationship with God is the basis of this approach. This ecumenism of prayer does not encourage a facile tolerance. It promotes a mutual listening which is demanding and a true dialogue. Praying here tonight, we cannot forget that the last letter written by Brother Roger just before his violent death was addressed to you, Holy Father, to tell you that our community wanted to walk in communion with you. Nor can we forget how after his tragic death your support was invaluable to encourage us to move forward. So I would like to express once again the deep affection of our hearts for your person and for your ministry. Finally, I would like to bring the witness to hope of the many young Africans with whom we met a month ago at Kigali, Rwanda. They came from 35 countries, including Congo, North Kivu, to undertake a pilgrimage of reconciliation and peace. The great vitality of these young Christians is a promise for the future of the Church. These young Africans wanted us to bring back a sign of their hope, sorghum seeds, so that they could grow in Europe. Can I take the liberty, Holy Father, of giving you from them a small traditional Rwandan basket called Agaseke, with some of these seeds of hope from Africa Perhaps they could be planted in the Vatican Gardens and blossom there.
jauchzt vor den Herrn alle Länder der Erde. Freut euch, jubelt und singt. Alleluia. Oh, 